All right, today is March the 7th, I think, I don't know, it's Saturday, it's uh, 2021. I'm going to start my treatments, my oxalic acid treatments, my vaporizer uh, for the early spring before the honey flow gets here. Uh, this will be the first of three treatments that I do. You'll do one on, uh, you know, whatever day, and then you do seven days later, seven days later, and then seven days after that. And that should take care of a lot of the uh, varroa mite issues that all hives have. I was in denial for many years thinking, I just, there's no way I've got an issue, but I lost too many hives with not treating them. So I finally decided to, uh, to join the club. And I started last year doing this. It is a process. I'm going to quickly show you, well, quickly, within a few minutes, I'm going to try not to make the video so long, uh, how I do a treatment of oxalic acid, uh, with a vaporizer and these are the things that you'll need so you'll need a, a battery now I just I happen to have a battery that I keep fully charged in fact I charged it last night um, you can use the the battery that's on your vehicle I just don't like having to crank and move my vehicle that often I've got uh, seven hives here to do and uh, so I just don't do that. You'll need a, a little something to cover up the the holes in the inner cover. That's just a piece of, uh, what do you call those political signs? I've got my hive tool to pop the top off. Now, here's the, here's the big thing. So I've got this wand. This is a vaporizer wand. And uh, I cannot remember exactly who I ordered it from, but I've been very pleased with it so far. It does a wonderful job, and with a good hot car battery, it will vaporize the amount of vapor or the amount of uh, OA that I put in there, which is a little over a fourth of a teaspoon. It will vaporize it in just a little over a minute. Actually, mine was down to a minute and seven seconds, but yours may be different. Also, one thing I want to recommend, if you go this route, if you get a, a vaporizing wand, they are a lot cheaper than the foggers, although or I don't know if you call them a fogger. They're called something else, but uh, they're a lot cheaper. It does take a little bit longer. It's a little bit more work, but I highly recommend that you go with the 12 foot uh, cord. I think most of them come maybe with a six foot cord, but I went for the for the 12 foot cord so I don't have as much trouble, you know, obviously it reaches further. So that's my recommendation there when it comes to the one. Go with the longer, the longer the cord you can. This is my OA. I put it in a plastic bag because it's supposed to say in a cool, dry place. Uh, and actually, my little bag busted, so I started putting it in a sandwich bag. Anyway, I ordered from, maybe you can see this, uh, Florida Laboratories, uh, oxalic acid, 99.6% pure. And this is an 8-ounce uh, package. And it, so far, last year, I did uh, three treatments twice a year on eight or nine hives and it, I still got plenty so really an eight ounce package and it's not too expensive I think it's maybe about 20 bucks maybe the wand is somewhere in the neighborhood of 40 or 50 your most expensive thing that you're going to do with treating this way would probably be if you buy a new car battery also you're going to need a, a like a dish towel or, or some type, type of a hand towel and make it damp so it sits in on the entrance uh, real easily and I'll show you how to do that I like to use plastic gloves when I'm doing this so I can feel better. Some people go with no gloves, um, and that's fine. Also, obviously, have my little costume. And I've got one hive down there at the very end that is just terribly aggressive. So when it comes to that hive, I may switch over from no gloves, plastic gloves, and I may switch over and use your basic gloves. But Oh, and, and, and if you're like me, you need to read your glasses because these days at that, that, that age, I can't seem to see things up close good. So don't forget your reading glasses. All right, I'm going to cut the video off. I'm going to, well, let me walk down here and show you what I'm going to do. I'm going to start with this one right here. This was a swarm I caught at the end of last year. So far, it looks good. It has overwintered well, I think. Uh, from what I can tell, they're bringing in some good pollen. So what I'm going to do, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take, obviously, the concrete block off, um, take the top off, and then I'm going to put that little cover, that little plastic political sign thing over the holes on the inner covers because you want to hold as much of that vapor in as possible and then i'm going to put the lid back on and i'll show you what goes after that
All right, I've slid the the wand in there as far as you can get it. And of course, the wooden handle kind of stops it, but it gets it in there a few inches. Uh, now I'm going to put my towel across the entrance. And yes, you're going to... A few of these forger bees and the ones that are flying are not going to get this treatment. But the main thing you're trying to get to is the, the varroa that's in the brood area. Hopefully, I mean, I'm sure there's some foragers that have mites on them but the majority of what you're trying to do is you're trying to get in there during that whole brood cycle and just just bust it all up there so let me get the towel on there and i'll show you the next step i got my wet towel put on there i got a couple of them on the outside that's getting really confused and getting ticked off that they can't get in but you got to do it so you try to close off every little crack and crevice because you want to try to have that vapor stay in there as long as possible so now i'm going to hook my 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 wire's up to my battery and uh, I'm gonna let it run for about a minute and 10 seconds. I set a timer on my phone because I've tested to see how long it takes. It, last year it was a minute and seven, but this battery's a little older. So I'm gonna set a timer for about a minute and 10 seconds. I'll let it vaporize. I'll be able to see some of the vapor coming to the outside. It's unfortunate those bees are not getting treated, but you can't do a whole lot about that unless you do this at night. I'm not doing it at night. Uh, quick other thing, if you, uh, if you get a single battery or a battery that you're not using in your vehicle, if you happen to know a sweet lunchroom lady, you can maybe talk to them and ask them if you could get one of those milk crates because that is an absolutely awesome thing to carry a battery around in. I tried to carry last year in a Rubbermaid container and it broke and it was just annoying, but that's about the most handiest thing that I can think of other than carrying those really cool little milk cartons in that disgusting orange drink that they usually would give us at school all right let me get this one going so of course this is what it looks like while it's going uh just unfortunately you can't get all of them but just kind of the way it is these would be the forager bees trying to come back and come back to their to their uh home put their uh, whatever they found their pollen or whatever in but but they can't get in right now we're closed for business i will let this run until the timer goes off then i will unhook from battery and then i usually let that towel stay on there for about 10 minutes just to keep the vapor in there real good and uh then uh we're done with that one then i move on to the 10 next. minutes is up and i'm sure there's people that tell me you're waiting too long or you're not waiting long enough but that's what i do if everything worked out right when i pull this wand out the little little uh aluminum bucket or whatever that had the oa in it should be empty so we'll do that and it is. This is exactly what we want to say. It means it cooked up all the little OA, turned it into vapor, and we're good to go on to the next one. Um, trying to think if there's anything. I, I give that just a little time to cool off before I move on to the next one because you don't want to stick the vapor, the, the OA crystals uh, in there and it start melting before you even get it in there. And also I need to stress that you're supposed to be wearing a, 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 a respirator. A, a ventilator thing and uh, i'll give you a link i mean there's five million of those you can order on amazon but i'll give you a link on the one that i've got um uh, that's it and 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 i will tell you one other thing first time i did this i pulled a bottom board out to see how many varroa might have killed and there was nothing on there and i was very <laughs> disturbed because i was thinking what the heck i thought this was supposed to kill all the varroa so i got on to facebook and asked the experts and people with a lot more experience than me and they said you give it two or three days it takes two or three days to kill them off so i come back two or three days later and pulled the board out and looked and, and it was unreal how many varroa it actually did kill it just takes two or three days for it to get to them and i'll uh, i'll put a picture at the very end of this video showing you what it looks like with the varroa dead on the board and what they actually look like up close and i know a lot of people already do this and they're experts at it this is more of a for a be be beginner's uh oa traders i guess so let me go ahead and uh, stop this video if i think of anything else i need to put on here i'll add to it if not this will probably be the end of the video uh, other than the picture that i'll show you when i get to the house uh, i appreciate you watching watching if you have any questions post some comments it's not difficult uh, it seems to be fairly effective i know that it probably doesn't wipe out the varroa mite you know 100 percent but it sure does put a dent in them and that's kind of uh, uh 
the, the whole point of the whole thing. Anyway, uh, any comments, questions, post below. If you got better ideas, post below also. I'm, I'm all up for constructive criticism. I just wanted to show anybody that was curious how to do it. Uh, this is how I do it, and now I'm going to move on to the, to the next one. Thanks for watching. Good luck beekeeping. And I usually say good luck swarm trapping, but that's not really what this one's about. So good luck uh, trading. Good luck OA trading.